Hello and welcome back to our Roma Invicta campaign in Imperium Universalis. So, we have taken out these Sabines, we've taken out the Marcies, and we have ranked up to uh, our current government rank is City, and now we are apparently the same. No, we're a minor state, I think. That's pretty cool. So, let us core two of the provinces, not all of them, not yet, and technology-wise we can take these techs as well, we're going to do so. And for our idea, I have been recommended to take scholar ideas. What that will give us institution spread, advisor costs, reduction efficiency, institution embracement cost, yearly corruption, yearly armor tradition decay, by network construction, and all power cost negative 2% as the finisher. And yeah, I'm I'm not seeing a terrible idea in here. It's a little bit like culture ideas in Mayo and Taxes. So I'm gonna take his advice. Thank you, Dariak. And we're gonna take Scholar's ideas. We can have another rival now, and I'm thinking Volchi. There you are. Volchi will be our next rival. You should love me for giving you land. Liberated and defended. Improved relations, same religion, all that good shit. I like it. Um, can I have a look in here? So, maybe it's because I only have one of the provinces cored, but I can't take any citizen calf here yet. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what the things are. You cannot raise more citizens as there's already already one raised. You can raise citizen soldiers. Citizens have higher discipline. It doesn't really tell you how you get them. Ooh, what the fuck? Velsna have just inherited shit tons of people. Right. Velsna, go look at you. Oh, wow, it's the guy that's right next to me. He's just inherited like seven thrones. That's fucking insane. Uh, he's got like 15k. He's just become the great power of, <laughs> of this uh, peninsula. Like, holy shit. Are you going to delete your units? Because this is insane. You're going to go into debt. How many men have you even got? Because that's, that's a lot of dudes. Uh, if we go... Not quality armies. Definitely not Babylon. Belzna has now got 33,000 with an, uh, a force limit of 13. You might want to delete some of those dudes. Very quickly. Yeah, I can see him getting rid of some. He's got to go down to 13 at the maximum. Velsna has now rivaled me. Of course he has. You know what? I like a challenge. Velsna, you're now my rival too. Well, he, he inherited Velch. We had allied Velch. Let's see if we can get a different ally then. Um, ooh, Armina. That, that could be a good idea. You're pretty large. You're the right... Religion, I think? No, we're de contenses and your Etrusca Disciplina. I have no idea. It looks like they're the, roughly the same color, so maybe they're in the same culture group or religious group. You're a heretic, perhaps? Jesus, uh, there you go. Etrusca Disciplina is a heretical. It's not heathenous, but you are heretical. That's fair enough. So yeah, we, we definitely need an ally, though. We can't go without. Um, you only got two provinces, so I don't feel like you're a good bit. There's three here in the Belares. Even though this is the Belares, but this is... whatever. Um, who do I ally with? I'm thinking probably Ar Arimna. That seems like a good idea. Rimna has allied us. We can we can get a couple more allies actually. Maybe we won't do it just yet. You're now allied with Volchi. Oh you twat! Allying the fucking target. Alright, you're allied with these guys. I mean, first off, we need to core our land and sort of like do a little bit of administration. Uh, we can't really go to war just yet. So this guy has now is now my rival, so I can check here. They've got 14,000. If I was to attack them, 
I'd be up against 20k. That's a lot of dudes. It really is a hell of a lot of dudes. What's our force limit now? Has it gone up? We can get 9. Uh, maybe I'll get one more slinger. And then... Two more infantry. That brings us to... 10, I think? No, it brings us to 9. I don't know. If I can... Maths, whatever. Ignore it. Um, Alright, so sailors, that's not a problem we need to worry about. Manpower maxes 7.5k, so I have no idea how this guy managed to get 18k manpower. That That's just bonkers. Rome has finished its road, and I think we need to save up and get the road in Ostia as well. That'd be quite valuable. We didn't check here as well. We're in the Archaic Period. Um, advanced Metallurgy, that's an institution. Megalopolis have a city of your culture with eight commoners. Apparently, we've got a city of our culture, that's the one. Gold and silver have a gold income of two. Rise of Zoroastrianism. Has Zoroastrian or Zervanism as main or secondary religion. Have a de democratic government form and above 95 republican tradition. Have a hundred heavy ships. Fucking hell. Treasury have income of 50 and treasury of 2500. I guess that's looking at things like Babylon, Lydia, Armenia, Egypt. You know, the big powers of the region. Of the, sorry, of the time period. So it's not actually looking at us just now. Coronation of Servilius, Servius Tullius. Um, okay, so what's this do? We lose splendor, we lose ducats, gain prestige and legitimacy, ruler is crowned, stability, cost modifier, and yearly legitimacy. It doesn't seem like it's all that valuable. You know what? Let's do it anyway. I'm sure it's probably a good idea. You have the great powers of the world. Babylon, Egypt, Lydia, and Jin. Jin is a great power from China. Okay. I don't think we're going to be seeing China in this campaign. But something to bear in mind. Merchant ships sunk. A ship which belonged to our trading fleet recently sunk some miles away from the coast. We still don't know why the ship sunk, and maybe we'll never know, but the goods which were on the ships are gone forever. Lose two ducats. Great. Do I actually, did I actually lose a ship? No. No, I think I'm good. I think I only had seven. That's fine. At least we didn't lose any ships. So, if I was to attack you, I'd be at war with Piscini, Bruti, and Vestina. You're Velsna, not Vestina. Government hinders trade. Our merchants complain about the government and their trade policy. They have to life with repressions and false accusation every day and demand more support for the trade. Lose two ducats or 25 dip. Let's lose the ducats, it's only 25. You are allied with Piscini and Peglini. You're... oh, you're allied with my ally. Great. If I was to attack you... How many, how many, hum? Are you being guaranteed? Yeah, you're guaranteeing my enemies. Palpluna and Artem. This seems like a good, logical way to go. This this kind of attack. After we've, you know, poured things and got our force limit up, bought some more dudes. At the moment, I don't see an easy route to attack. Do you have any favors with me? No, only five. You should get favors for giving them land in a war. That would make sense in my opinion. We do have rebels, uh, so I'm going to move my guys to the mountains now. 15.9 unrest. Yeah, that's, that's kind of heavy, actually. 8k, 10k, 7k, 10k. Okay, interesting. The Latin Separatists in Tibur. I'm actually going to go and stand in Tabur when that gets to 90%. But there, a couple of cores finished. i finish finished the other two now. Can I get any more citizens? Oh, I can get another citizen! Nice. We'll do that, and move over here. Will you give me any? No. Did that put us over a force limit? It did. And now we're losing money. 
but not a whole lot. And I think as soon as we've got the other two cored, we're going to be okay. Like, they still have pretty high autonomy as well, so it's not any kind of um, great surprise. Oh, what the fuck? Herald from Odrysia. You have an earthquake. Wow, that's that's kind of harsh, actually. Hopefully we don't have earthquakes in uh, Italy. I mean, I know we do, but yeah, that's, that's pretty painful. So Umbria still won't give me any citizens, even though every province I own, I have cord. We are making money now, so I think my force limit did go up. No, it didn't. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to get more citizens than Cav. Because they're really good and I want more of them. Two is not enough. Alright, so we had a revolt in Narnia, so we're going to have to go and uh, kill Aslan. Sabinian Separatists. Oh, well, you're now dead, so that's good. All right, we've got Latin Separatists in Tibur, and then Marcians in Marnuvum. This is Hills. And then... Where, where was the other one? Tibur. It's both Hills, so it doesn't really matter which one we stand in. Let's go... Let's go stand in Marvum. I think their, their rebellion is smaller. Or, sorry, your rebellion is bigger, so that is why it's a good idea to sit here instead. Yeah, Marcians are only 7k, Latins are 10k. Sorry, 8k. So actually, maybe I should stand over here. Yeah, this is, this is where I want to stand. Tibur gives 2. Right, okay, so this is good. This is good. I have to decide how I make my next attack. Attacking you and then letting you tank it out for a little bit might be a good idea. Alliance from Beleri's, that was these guys. I think that's probably a good idea. Because then perhaps I could get to war somehow with this guy. And that would be my route into Sardinia Corsica, maybe. Yeah, I think attacking you is the next logical step. Or well, maybe I haven't stated more than 25 years of separatism left. Well, that's also very interesting. So, separatism is in the unrest area. So, it's when it gets to 12.5, um, that's when the unrest is low enough, I guess, to um, statify the, uh, the province. Interesting way of doing things. The way of Queso. The years have passed and Queso is now old enough for a proper education. There are several different paths we could send him. He could be taught by the governors and the advisors of Rex Roma in the way of administration. Other option is send him to the court of our friends to learn about other people and the ways of diplomacy. Or we send him to military as page to become a noble warrior and skilled general. Okay, that's fucking awesome. That is so cool. Right, so I can send my heir to learn, you know, to, to gain a, a stat. I'm going to send him to do administration so he'll become a 333. Oh, look at that. That's fucking... That's really cool. I like that a lot. I like that a hell of a lot. Alright, so now you go back to Tibor. Yeah, this this is this is good. Drought in Italia. A terrible drought has hit the region of Italia. In some areas, the people are dying because of the heat, and the animals die like flies in the fields. It will take some time to recover from this. Provinces which got drought will produce less food supplies. Keep this in mind. Alright, well, Italia... Which one is Italia? I mean, that, that'll be just the the big region. Italia. Alright, so this entire area. Okay, so do you have the drought? There. Local production efficiency, goods produce modifier, tax modifier, maximum attrition, supply limit modifier. That's all bullshit. I hate all of it. So it's about a year that that's going to last. But yeah, no wonder I'm losing money now. That's a horrible modifier. Don't like that one bit. Small center of trade there. And does that show? It does show on the map. Where are the other centers of trade? There's one in Ancona. There's another one in Naples. Altia, Olbia. It's all over the fucking place. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. 
Th this is what this is what base E4 should do. Centers of trade that like move around like this. Fantastic. I love it. Alright, so I think we should be improving relations with somebody. Neighbors. But not Felsner. Why would we improve this really shouldn't improve relations with your fucking rival. That is the dumbest thing I've fucking seen. That's, that's so stupid. Apparently we have a border conquest? We don't have a border, unless wastelands don't count. Is this wasteland is all the same? So I border the wasteland here? or I, I don't know. It's a weird system. Wastelands screw with borders. I like that in Maine, Texas as well. 1.2 years until you rise up in Tibor. Good job, I'm just going to stand here and waste all the time I could be using to drill. Corrupt advisor. There's an advisor in our government who is said to be corrupt. Should we kick him out of the consul, the council, or keep him? Patrician Publius Gavius Brutus dies or gain a corruption. I don't need Brutus. Kick him out. What? Replace him. With the unrest guy. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. But I am now negative again. But it shouldn't last for long. As soon as this drought goes away, I'll be making money again. Architectural visionary is a great, great thing. Priest. Super I've just fucking paid for him! One of our counselors seems to be disloyal. He recently had disputes with Rex Roma Servius Tullius. Our spies report about secret meetings with diplomats of our rivals. Our guards tried to arrest him this morning, but they couldn't find him. Maybe he drew suspicion and already fled to our enemy. Yeah, that bastard indeed. Fuck me, I literally just paid for him. That, that's a balls. And there's the rebellion. And there goes the rebellion. Maybe I'll go and sit in Rome and drill for a bit. I can take... Institution spread. I mean, there's no institutions yet for me to take, I believe. Writing system we already have. In 240, we'll get advanced metallurgy. That's going to be useful. Um, it could spawn in me as well, which would be nice. Tech-wise, admin efficiency and number of states. The admin efficiency would be nice. And this can wait. Yeah, that, that can wait. That's fine. All right, drill here. What's going on with our force limit? Still, still at 9. Artim is being backed by Velsna, so you're not really a target yet. Guaranteeing the independence of Artim, and you are allied with Capua and Pisse. Pisse is you, right? No, you're the Piceni. Pisse is you. So actually, you're... Oh, this is the huge guy. Never mind. Velsna, you are the you're a logical target, so are you. You've only got 6k, you've got 7. I'm thinking... No, stop. Stop telling me about that. I'm thinking, the plan is, we attack you, call in you, we'll promise you this land, and hopefully you're the one that's able to, you know, deal with this shit, while we siege and kill this guy. What is this? Innovativeness is decreasing. That's because someone's taking dip tech fuckers. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the good that's a good plan. Hmm. So actually no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're allied with both of these. So that six and seven K. So thirteen K versus your seven. Not good odds. And they could just come straight through Riyat, Narnia. Yeah. I could build a fort, or citadel even. 130 ducats, and I don't have that. Hmm. Also, these army camps give fort level. Maybe I'll do that. I'll build an army camp in Riyat. I don't think they block movement. They just block, you know, you need to siege them. Citadels block movement. 
they are like 30 ducats more expensive and we're not we're not gaining money all that quickly Athens have donated to Babylon why would you do that Athens you're fucking tiny Babylon doesn't need your money if I was to attack you who else could I call in I mean if I could call in these guys it would work um, if I was to attack you again, no one would help out. Plus, you have 9k. I feel like I could probably kill that 9k before your allies get involved, but at some point I'm going to be sieging and they're going to come. Um, if I was to attack you, Piglini and Piscini. Yeah, my ally. I need to be in war with somebody with my ally while I attack you. I also attack you again. Paglini doesn't want to get involved. This would actually be a pretty good choice of target at some point. I could again, I could attack Pentry, and one of your allies wouldn't join in. Only the Caudini would join. So only these guys. That's actually a possibility. I could do that. I could do that. I think I am going to do that. I think it's the best choice. Like, I have Border Conquest, but I can only assume I also have... Um, I can only assume that I also have Coring Distance, right? Uh, first things first, Piglini. Give me military access. Thank you very much. And then Pentry. Looks like it's about time for you to die, sir. Oh, I've only got the show superiority. Huh. You know what? I think that's still a good idea. I need money. Alright, that's the way I get money. Yeah, I thought I had border conquest, but I guess I didn't. This is mountains. So if I see you in the forest here, I'm going to attack you there. I don't, because you've already gone to Rome. And you've hired... You've hired people. Which also really sucks. Farmlands, I think I'm going to try and kill your army so it doesn't bother me anymore. Stack wiped, fucking sweet. And now we're going to go after Rome. Sorry, no, yeah. Liberate Rome. And holy shit, I think I may have bit off a little bit more than I could chew. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a cut in here. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember, new series, so likes and comments and all that shit help out a hell of a lot. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.